Hello everybody, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to take you with me on a journey where I paint this tote bag inspired by Neverland from Peter Pan. So let's get started. I got these new brushes that my mom bought for me and they have the bristles are still very hard from the glue intact so I'm going to disperse them into clean water and while I wait for it to soak in I'm going to take my masking tape and I would just rip them up into small pieces and create a border around this circle which later will become a moon so that I can paint the background freely. So the majority of the paint that I'll be using today um, are from Sakura and they're acrylic paints. I'm just gonna mix them with a fabric medium so that it will last longer on the tote bag and that will be washable. So the ratio would be 2 to 1 whereas um, the acrylic paint will be twice as more as the fabric medium. And so I'm just going to start off by using the darkest colors first on the corners of the background and then I'm just going to gradually use lighter colors and blend them together. And here I'm just blending and blending. I think it took more than 30 minutes to blend everything together. So I'm just blending all the colors in circular motion and I would put the white paint um, I would just place them gradually around the circle so that it looks like the moon's um, light from within. Personally, I love these color combinations. They work so well together representing the midnight sky and it just gave a beautiful visualization of what the sky looks like to me in Peter Pan. Remember guys, just keep blending and blending, dip your brush into clean water and blend away. And then it's time for coffee break. <laughs> I needed that. Next, I'm just going to carefully paint this beautiful silhouette of the Big Ben and all the other buildings around it. London is such a magnificent and such a magical city. I love London so much and so creating this was really fun although it was quite tricky with all the details um, but yeah I'm really proud of how it turned out and then I'm just going to go ahead and reverse the position of my tape outwards so that I could paint the moon next and just tuck it in to make sure that no paint could seep in and there's my pet nugget aww <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to mix the colors together, a lot of grays and midnight blues and a tint of yellow. You guys can uh, mix the col your colors however you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint the moon. And here it's quite a tricky part, I must say, but... Um, I'm just trying to figure out the lights and the shadows and it took me quite a while to finish the moon though I'm really happy with how it turned out in the end oh, um, it's so shiny and bright and I just go ahead and outline the silhouette of Peter Pan, Wendy, Michael and John with a white gel pen I also added this posture paint in gold to add a bit of more magic in the sky to represent the stars I distributed the gold paint by splashing it onto the canvas and to prevent it from getting it to the moon I cut up a circle with thick paper and put it on top and sorry guys, I lost the footage for when I paint the silhouettes in, but this is what it looks like in the end. To make it durable and washable, don't forget to iron your tooth back at the end so that the fabric medium can lock everything in place. At the end of the day, I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm so glad you guys came along throughout the journey with me. I hope it gives you an inspiration and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.